What is going on world? What's up YouTube? It's Zero here. Today we have a ton of stuff guys to go over. Let's get right into it. We're going to start off by talking about CSGO Wild. So, haven't talked about some CSGO stuff in quite some time guys, but with that being said, there has been some big news and a lot of speculation, rumors going around that CSGO Wild has been owned by none other than FaZe Rain and FaZe Banks. All these things have been going on. I was talking to you guys about how Rain was, uh, po you know, I, I, I was thinking of a possibility of Rain leaving Phase, and that was not true. But what could be true is that he is an owner of CS:GO Wild. Well, a lot of this stuff kind of came to rest, guys, when CS:GO Wild tweeted out saying, "Dear Counter Strike community," and in this, guys, what they started to say was. Um, I don't think I'd be making a public statement about the relationship between CSGO Wild and FaZe, but after consistent posts filled with untrue accusations and speculation, I figured it was time to tell the tale. So, basically guys, they essentially what Wild was saying was that this is... They have no affiliation with FaZe, and uh, you guys can read the article. I'll put, uh, I'll basically put the entire article in here um, for you guys to read if you'd like, and you can pause the video and, and check it out. But basically, what they're saying is that FaZe has nothing to do with CS:GO Wild. There was just uh, one of those things where they have a guy named Zach, I believe, who is the one who is currently. Uh, running it uh, along with uh, one other guy is Gagey, and uh, the, the, those are the two that are running CSGO Wild. So basically, guys, I know there's still people that are saying, like, it's just kind of sketchy, and people think that Rain and Banks still do own CSGO Wild, but I think that, honestly, guys, after reading this article, I don't think that they do. I think that the two of them, they're, you know, they are 100% committed to FaZe, I feel that there, it, it's true that Gagey and this other kid named Zach are the ones who are running it. It really goes into a lot of depth and detail in this entire situation. It's been been crazy though with the whole CS:GO Lotto stuff, with you know Team Martin and Syndicate now with you know Phase and CS:GO Wild. It, it's crazy, and I mean I, I don't know what to think of it all, guys. I I honestly would have to say though that I feel that. This is a positive sign that, you know, they are not affiliated with CSGO Wild. They are doing their own thing. They're focusing on FaZe, and that's what I, I believe personally. And uh, I think that they're doing a fantastic job. I think CSGO Wild, they're doing a good job too with what they're doing. But uh, like I said, guys, I want to know from all of you what you all think in the comment section below. And uh, let's move on to the next thing. So, uh, Saw Utero, one of the overall leaders of Saw, he tweeted out saying, Saw Recruitment Challenge might happen sometime soon. If it does, we plan on making it COD and... And CSGO, just waiting for the right time. Well, Utero, the right time is now. Guys, I'm sure a lot of you already know I am a big fan of Saw. I love Saw, and uh, I love that the, the the direction the team is going. And, uh, you know, a lot of kudos to those guys over there. But the recruitment challenge needs to come out at very soon. Um, you guys definitely got to go bug Utero. Tell him to make the recruitment challenge come out very soon. Moving on, guys. The Artists of Red had a big announcement, with which Red had said that they were going to have a huge announcement. This announcement came out that introducing the new Red Reserve Artists of Red roster and they had the two leaders which was rated in Blaze and then you have Pixel, Jacob, Myth, C, Sater, and 7K. So basically guys this is a stacked roster and I am I'm really uh, mainly familiar with Rated um, and Blaze. Uh, mainly Rated though. Rated is a phenomenal uh, designer, and Blaze. I mean, he's really good as well. So the two of them leading is just phenomenal. And then you got this lineup of guys who is just. It's crazy, amazing. I mean, these guys have got, they've got a lot of potential. This is going to be a great design team, I am sure. And, um, anyways, but yeah, guys, moving on to the next thing. So a couple of my buddies ended up joining DZ. So I, I was telling you guys that uh, DZ came back, um, and. I'm very excited that this team is back because they're such a phenomenal. They were a phenomenal team. They kept on coming back and then ending and then you know hopefully they stay together at this point in time. I'm I'm real. I got my fingers crossed. This team has so much potential. But Tzar and Ziha both joined DZ. I'm really excited to see what these guys do because these two are fantastic trick shot leaders and uh, I, I'm excited so th to see what they do. I mean it's going to be really exciting. So uh, I'm, I, good luck guys with everything. 
everything. And moving on, guys, we had a new member join our design team, which is over here at Lycan. Uh, the name is Mina, uh, is now affiliated with the Team Lycan uh, family and uh, to the Lycan Works as well. So uh, congratulations. Really excited to see what you do. And... Rounding it off, everyone, there was a milestone. Yes, guys. So, uh, Face Sensor hit a milestone, guys. He hit 1.5 million subscribers. Congratulations, Sensor. That is just amazing. And as we're speaking about these uh, amazing milestones, there's another guy. His name is none other than Nuda. He hit 160K. And uh, I know a lot of people give Nuda shit, but he is one of the most hilarious people on the internet. I mean, just internet in general. He makes some very entertaining videos. You guys got to check him out. He deserves even more subscribers than what he's got right now. Congratulations to both those guys on hitting incredible milestones. And moving on, guys, to the next thing. There were a couple of ERA recruits. So ERA Gazed joined ERA as a co-leader of the design team and then another era member who rejoined his name is Malto congratulations to both of you and then there was a new myth member his name is Texel congratulations Texel I'm excited to see what you can produce in myth and with all this stuff being said guys that is actually going to end off the video for the day I hope you guys did enjoy and if you did leave a thumbs up subscribe if you're new stay positive and I'll talk to you guys later peace